What's up everybody? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we are doing a supplement review. And I had a plan to do the Isoflex peanut butter sample that I actually have uh, stashed away with the rest of my proteins. But uh, then somebody commented something on the last supplement review I did and asked about my top three rankings. What up DK? How you doing bro? Uh, and I wanted to kind of step things up a little bit. I figured since I've already kind of done a couple reviews of supplements that I was in certain cases less than glowing about, I wanted to review one that is supposed to stand at the top. So today we are reviewing none other than the king of proteins. We're talking the tippy top of the ladder no one is supposed to stand above these guys. I'm talking about Precision's Extreme Isolate 97. Now, for those of you who don't know anything about this protein, allow me to enlighten you a little bit about what this protein is all about. Now, we're talking about a protein that has such high yields in terms of protein per scoop that for a 40 gram scoop, we're coming in at 37 grams of protein. Yeah. You heard me right. 37 grams of protein per scoop. Now, with it coming at a higher macro value than just about any other protein out there, like we're talking most other proteins sitting around 25 to 27-ish grams of protein, give or take one or two grams, there is a price point to match that. And the price point on sale for a five pound ish tub of this stuff is going to run you still a hundred and thirty dollars on sale regular price in the neighborhood depending where you get it from about 180 bucks i'm actually looking at a site right now and it says 180 bucks normal price on sale 130 bucks that's crazy so you're paying for, for a much higher quality protein. Now, we're gonna do this just the way we always do this. I'm gonna take one serving of the protein, one cup of water, and I already have the trusty shaker cup here, and the protein already measured out. I literally measured it out on a scale to make sure that it was exactly one serving, one cup of water, one scoop of protein, exactly one serving as they say. Uh, and we're also going to be shaking it for 20 seconds and then evaluating it on four criteria, your taste, your texture, your mixability, your macros. And then we'll give it a final score out of 20 with some adjustments based on any other criteria I feel are important to incorporate into the evaluation of this protein and then we'll get at it. So let's, uh, let's stop wasting time. Let's get right into it, huh? So I'm gonna get this mixed up and then we're gonna get the party started. I forget i'm also gonna need to go grab myself a lactose pill hold up i'll be back isn't that nice i had some right behind me so that worked out pretty well uh okay so it's all mixed up here so let's go ahead and give this a try i'm actually pretty excited to see how this tastes extremely clean tasting vanilla it's not overly sweet which i think is really cool i'm i'm not a fan of super sweet vanilla flavors uh, it can get really overbearing and really annoying super fast and it's one of the reasons why i find that vanillas aren't a flavor that i can go back to on a regular basis but this tastes like something that i could drink regularly and not have a problem with i mean first impressions and all but still that's actually uh, really good it's a very good sign um 
it's not really creamy. It's not a thick protein, which honestly, I think, as if you saw the last review I did, it's definitely, you'll know that I'm, I'm a fan of the fact that it's not an overly thick protein um, after mixing. Um, I'm sure if you let it sit, it still wouldn't be thick. It actually, it's, it's crazy how thin it is. Like, just, I mentioned last time that I kind of like them just on the protein side of being like water in terms of the texture, but yeah, this is, yeah, this is like almost like it's right at the edge, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Taste wise, let's call it a three and a half because actually I do feel like I really do like the fact that the flavor is mild, noticeable, uh, present, not annoying, not overbearing, just sweet enough, uh, and it's clear. It's very clear and very pure kind of taste. You don't really get a lot uh, else coming through, which brings me to the detail that, um, and this, I heard this not from them, the, the precision themselves, but from a reliable source that the company doesn't make this protein in any other flavor except for vanilla because they want to maintain the purity of the product and adding any other flavors or doing it in any other flavors would cause them to compromise the macros per scoop, which is nuts. That's some serious dedication to your product to only offer it in vanilla. I think they might have like a flavorless version. If they, at least they did. I don't know if they still do, but again, dedication. That's crazy. Got to give them to them. Texture. Like I said before, it's like really riding the line between like water and protein. Like if somebody had just given it to me, I would have thought like flavored water just from a blind taste test. But I could chug this in a second. Like I could slam this back so easy. It's insane. And the fact that there's the mackerel are as good as they are. Again, I'm getting ahead of myself, but knowing what I know about what's in this protein and still this going down as smooth and as as clean as this is, it's 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 very impressive. I'm I'm my face is kind of blown off by the fact that this is even possible. Uh, so texture, that's a five. I'm gonna give them a five on texture. This is. This is what I want out of protein. I don't want it to feel like I'm trying to chug down something. I want it to feel like I'm just drinking something easy. And this is really, really easy to drink. Mixability. I really want to give them a five, but the frothiness makes this, it kind of brings it down to a four. It's not that I don't understand why the froth is there. I mean, we're mixing up protein. These proteins are going to create froth when you shake them vigorously for 20 seconds it's just a natural byproduct of it but nonetheless i mean it is it isn't my favorite thing in the world so i'm gonna give them a four I'm give them a four take a point off for the froth but like there is none caked to the sides none caked to the bottom none unmixed inside the cup it is all completely mixed into this and i can't find any evidence that this was a powder to begin with it's again a very impressive feat this is part of what you get when you just you're so pure with your process and your product you just you get something that mixes with impressive purity and consistency so four on mixability that's this is a great score thus far like this is fantastic so far i'm really impressed uh moving on to macros i mean what else can i really say about this product let's take a quick run through it i mean in case you don't already know what is being offered in this so when we take a look at the macros like it's 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 a really great breakdown like you have 40 gram scoops so each scoop is 40 grams it has 150 calories that's it 37 grams of protein per scoop 37 0.3 grams of fat zero grams of carbs zero grams of sugar zero milligrams of cholesterol it's got adipure amino acids taurine dl alpha lipoic acid uh and pinitol but really like i'm only looking at the other the other ingredients here the other the other parts of the macros and what can you say that's bad about that breakdown that's a phenomenal macro breakdown it's again insanely impressive and i can see how they could command this price nobody's coming close to them there's nobody in the same universe as them this is far and away the most impressive protein on macros alone that i have ever seen 
if you guys know of one that somehow beats this, for the love of God, throw it into the comments. I need to know what the hell it is, where I can find it, and I need to review that ish now. So yeah, let me know. I I, I gotta know about it because that would be incredible. But this 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 is the best I have ever seen. I have yet to see anything that comes close to this. And this is incredible. This is fantastic. So macros, easy easy five so if someone can come in and beat them they're gonna really mess up the bell curve for everybody else because that's gonna be incredible but right now they are literally setting the bar without a question so that's a five so scores are in and they're coming in at a 17.5 out of 20 that's an 87.5 and honestly given how i feel about this product and how well it seems to be just conquering on just about every single metric that i can use to properly evaluate this thing i'm gonna bump it up that half mark like a good teacher would and give it the 88 y'all get the 88 this is nuts this this is fantastic protein i don't quite know how you beat this the the one way that i could see that maybe you could beat this is if you can maintain the macros maintain the scoop size somehow and bring e even more flavor more realistic flavor because that's one thing i guess i would say is that maybe the vanilla isn't quite as real as some might want but i mean you kind of have unrealistic expectations if you're coming into the protein world expecting macros like this and just blow your face off flavors that being said yes i do recognize that it isn't exactly the creamiest milkiest most delicious vanilla i've ever had but it's still a damn good vanilla flavor and it's clean it's a very clean vanilla flavor all it is it would need to be is a little bit more punchy maybe um but yeah that's wow like that's fantastic so yeah that that's gonna do it. i'm gonna drink the rest of this give me a second god damn Yeah, that's going to do it for this review. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you found this educational, entertaining, informative, if you like the review, go ahead and throw a like below the video. Greatly appreciate it. Helps us with the algorithm. Uh, of course, also throw down some comments if there's any other proteins that you know, you'd like to see me review, any other supplements you'd like to see me review. If you know of a protein that somehow beats this protein, I don't know how you would have found it or where the hell it came from, but you have to tell me, please, for the love of God, throw it underneath the video, throw it into the description. I will reply. I will I'll heart that, you know, the whole nine. I need to know about it and I will get my hands on it as quickly as possible. And I'll review that one as well. Um, but yeah, uh, start a conversation. I'd love to talk to you guys. Uh, I'll also throw my social media links down below the video, of course, as always. Uh, so come check me out on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to grow the following there. So of course, always uh, plugging my channels, plugging all my social media outlets. Uh, speaking of which, my Facebook as well. Come and join me on Facebook. It's my personal one in, in there, if you didn't know. Uh, so, you know, come check it out see what you uh what you find there i'm sure you'll find some cool stuff there you'll be able to talk to me see some pictures and stuff that's going on uh, i usually post all the stuff i post to instagram usually to facebook as well so you can get some of that content there if for some reason you don't have instagram which more and more people are abandoning social media platforms uh, every day so i'd understand if that was the case uh but of course also uh subscribe and hit the bell uh, to be notified of all of our future videos uh like i always say i've got some stuff planned in the future some pretty cool stuff so stay tuned for it and uh i'd love for you to join the galaxy all of us out here doing everything we can to be our best possible selves every single day pushing ourselves a little bit further trying to get the most out of ourselves and out of life uh, and of course stay shining because the universe can only be a bright and beautiful place we all shine together peace